was doing a school play, and uh, there was a girl, and I was trying to crack onto her, but I was going through my sort of, you know, fifth form phase of sort of reading, catching the rye and all the rest of it, rebelling against the system, and uh, I thought, well, she's going she's gonna to find me appealing if she realises how smart I am. Mm. But, uh, yeah, we are doing the school play, and uh, there was one point where everyone was hanging out in one of the rooms, music rooms, tr getting changed, joking, laughing, cracking onto each other, right? I was sat in the room next door, empty room, on my own, right, reading Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, the uh, sort of, kind of, you know, populist philosophy book from the 70s, just sat reading that, in the hope that she would uh, walk in the room see me, think, my God, he's obviously wise, and presumably, you know, get off with me. Um, must have sat there <laughs> for about an hour and a half <laughs> before anyone came in. And, uh, <laughs> she came in eventually, and, uh, I thought, ding dong, this is it. She came in and said, have you seen Martin Wells? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I think you might be next door. She disappeared again. I gave her another 15 minutes on the hope that she'd come back. She didn't. I went in the next room. She was getting off with Martin Wells. Oh, no. Because he'd been dancing. With, he'd been dancing around with no trousers on. <laughs> <laughs> so, all I'll say is, there's a, a, less, a valuable lesson learned. 